I want to get to the fake phony job number report. They're cooking the books. I mean, you and I run businesses. I mean, you make this. This is beyond politics. You make business decisions based on what you think the economy is going to do, of course. whether you want to expand, invest, hire. And they cook the books by a, by a million jobs. If you took the, what, 10 largest companies in the country, it's not a million jobs. Yeah, so I was just pulling that up on, on my phone as we're sitting here talking about it. So I was stuck in an airport yesterday for a couple minutes, and, and I said, context, if Google, Apple, Microsoft, Meta, and Procter & Gamble all went out of business and they laid off every single one of their employees, that's still less than the 818,000 jobs that just so happened to vanish from the voter rolls. And guys, I mean, it, it's, it's crazy. We're being lied to every single day. I mean, we, we pay these people. We pay a lot of money. Everybody pays a lot of money in taxes. Like, almost half of their income goes to taxes. And yet people in Washington, D.C. are lying to us about job creation in this country. You know, it, it's, it's awful. It's horrible. And, and by the way, the other thing that people don't account for is about 40% of all new jobs that have been created are federal, state, and local jobs, right? And, and, and God bless, but the problem is, you know, th those, are, those are jobs that actually cost you money because you well, have they to don't pay produce taxes. And they don't produce anything. And they don't produce anything, of course. And so not only were we lied to, I mean, think about it. If, if, if a, you know, okay jobs report is, is 200,000 jobs, and by the way, the 818,000 is in one year. That's effectively knocking a quarter off of the last you know, or more, it's, 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 it's knocking a third of the year off in terms of job creation. They lie to us. They lie to us every month. And they also stack their jobs reports with government jobs, which they can control to make themselves look better. And the media is so dishonest, right? Economists know that this is happening and some are talking about it, very few, but some are talking about it. Why is no one talking about it? That, that they're, they're actually booing their numbers by hiring government employees to make their job creation look better. No different than the 87,000 IRS agents that they want to hire to go after, you know, you know, and, and just harass the hell out of every single American. It is so disingenuous. It's so dishonest. Um, we're, we're paying people to lie to the American people. So they're saying the unemployment rate right now is 3.5%. You, you add this million jobs to it, basically a million. You add this million jobs to it, it goes up to 5.5%. Now you're in, you know, you're in recession range. Sure. And, you know, I, the political ramifications are one thing. They want to control the narrative, and they, they want on Friday to say, hey, we had a good jobs number, so you can go on the talk show Sunday and say uh, the Biden economy is doing fantastic. But what about the, what about the business end of it? Yeah. Like what I started with, businesses make decisions based on where they think the economy's headed. Sure. And so now you've made decisions based on a lie. Sure. Uh, also, remember a lot of the jobs that are coming in, they're, they're part-time jobs, right? And where people are working two and three jobs. That's happening. I guarantee you there are a lot of people listening to us right now who are working more jobs than they've ever had to work before. And then the other thing that the jobs report leaves out is illegal immigrants. So say you have 13 million illegal immigrants that have come into this country. They're, they're not on those rolls, right? I mean, are they counting for every single one of those? Are they adding 3 million people to the rolls? No. I mean, they're, they're, they're not. On the, the, the problem is the number is so dishonest, right? Obviously, left off the 818,000 that we're talking about. It, it's, it's not accounting for, for part-time jobs. Obviously, I mentioned that 40% of all those jobs were, were, you know, federal, state, and local, and you're leaving off illegal immigration. Other than that, they're, they're doing absolutely wonderful. John, it is, it is such a sham. It is such a sham. We have incompetent people in the Oval Office. This country has real problems. I mean, real, real problems. People can't afford to live anymore. Uh, there's not a single person listening to us right now who hasn't felt uh, the massive price increases in this country. Wage growth in this nation have been, it's just been stagnant, right? There has been no wage growth. And that's a real big problem when every single year you have 10% inflation and everyone feels it. And, you know, it's, it's interesting. Sometimes when people talk about price increases, they kind of, you know, they, 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 they kind of shrug it off, meaning mainstream media, et cetera, et cetera. But all the price increases in places that you can't control. Mm -hmm. So you can't control auto insurance. You can't control your home mortgage. You can't control rent. You can't control, you know, groceries maybe a little bit. Guess what? Instead of buying a steak, maybe you can buy, you know, nothing, right? Pasta or something along that. But like, you know, uh, you know, gas. Gas is up three times from when my father was commander in chief. Heating oil. Your utilities have gone through the roof. I mean, home insurance. What do you do about these? What are you supposed to do? Say I, I don't want auto insurance anymore. Right. You know, like I, I don't want to. I don't want to fill my. I don't, I don't want to fill my car with gas again. Right. You can't make these decisions. These are these are things that are necessary for for life and work and 
you know, living and, and, you know, they're cramming people down again, no wage growth and massive expense increases.